Hello, this is Martin here and welcome to a new episode of Markets Tomorrow, the technical analysis show. We're doing this for August 27, Friday tomorrow. So if you're not subscribed, please subscribe right away and share to all your friends. You know, this will help us motivate and it doesn't cost you anything. Thank you so much. And let's move ahead. So every day what we do, we would analyze the market, right, based on all of these parameters on the left side of the charts. We would look at the charts. And then we also do additional analysis on open interest, volatility, institutional participation, sectoral watch, and then global commodities and global markets, and then a wrap up with some actionables, right? So without wasting time, let's get into it. So here is the nifty charts, right? The plane, let's move all the uh, so this is the chart. So this is a doji, right? This is a doji that you see there. Doji is indecisive. Market is not, you know, the bulls and the bears are at the same power. Market is indecisive, indecisive whether to break down or break out or, you know, move up or move down. So that is what is NFT. So this is, um, uh, it's actually a green candle, right? So if you look at what happened today, uh, in the lower time frame, we can see that uh, the market went up, right? So, and then you no, know, it actually dipped a bit initially. The first candle you can see a dip went up, and then uh, how much it went? This is another V-shaped day. Keep that in mind, right? Uh, of a different variety, right? So, if you just uh, look at the price movements, no. It went up. How much is that? Right, one person that's near to 400 points, 377 points, and then gave up half of that. Right, just gave up half of that. Right, so that's what you can see. One person move, one person give up. So that was a price action. And uh, nif Nifty, if you see, uh, it was something different. So this is this here. You can see that is a. It's a kind of V-shaped move that has happened. It went up and then gave up half of you no know, half of what was uh, you no know, taken. But Nifty is a different pattern. See here, went up, down, up, down. You know, so that so that so there is again two V's are there. V shape up. This is one V moving up and down. This is another V moving up and down. So we also discussed the other day of the you know, market is making too many V V shaped moves. That's very difficult to trade nowadays right so there's a price action and then um, let's look at the Bollinger Bands to see if there's any, any further volatility contraction or expansion happen so it has expanded slightly you can say for bank nifty nifty you can say it is already expanded and then you know, it has taken a correction and then moved up so not much change in the volatility expansion now let us look at the levels so see it didn't do it's closed below yesterday's close and then nothing much happened uh, it attempted to go and hit the same res it actually hit the same resistance zone were near to that not 15 uh, 16 700 but very close to that 16 8 uh, near to 84 16 uh, 684 up to that event got hit by the resistance and then again came back and formed a doji right so resistance remains to be the 16700 levels and beyond that it would be 16850 which is a fib 78 uh, percent projection and uh, below that you have this zone of support which is 16400 and well, it's near to 15500 and uh, 350 15500 350 band is a support zone then further down you have 16 uh, 250 and uh, 150 that's the zone then you have 16100 which is a fifth retracement level and then you have a lot of supports then you have 16000 rounding number then you have 15950 so a lot of supports down there and uh, the immediate support would be 15500 kind of so right the middle resistance will be 15700 so the, 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 this is an expiry action so uh, in the bank nifty if you see uh, today what happened is it uh, settled at the same support zone that we identified yesterday right of 34 no, so, so right so it uh, did a dip yesterday and then 
attempted to take a support from this 35400 region and then we could not conquer the 35900 or 36000 that level should not conquer so the first resistance would be 36000 or no conquering 36000 is the first then you have 36500 second and then you have 37700 so the resistances downside you would have the same zone which where it is taken support here and bounced 35500 to 30 five three hundred that zone for support and then below that you have thirty four nine hundred to thirty four four hundred that previous swing low zones right so that's all. now uh, momentum if you see you know it could not climb up the still in the sideways in the bank nifty nifty you no know, the bullish divergence is over completed it hit this uh, yesterday when it hit the seven sixteen seven hundred it is completed now you can see that there is a there is a bearish divergence that is in play. So that bearish divergence, if it works out, um, um, so the price is moving up. Uh, so if it works out, you can take it down to 16, you know, 500 kind of levels. Okay. So that is uh, something. You know, so there is a bearish divergence now on the moment. Up. But momentum overall is bullish. It is very much in the bullish zone for the Nifty. The Nifty is still in the sideways zone. Trend, you can see that it had crossed over yesterday to the bullish zones, the Nifty, and it has taken a mild, uh, mild dip, but it's still in the bullish zones. Nifty is already in the bullish zones, taking a dip today, trend wise, ADX trend indicator. So that's a trend. Now that is all that we have on the charts, right? And uh, let's now get into the open interest data and see if that data has come or not. Um, you will see the uh, not sure, uh, yeah. Open interest data for the options, you can see that, um, yeah. So, there's no point, uh, too much stress is not requ required on the open interest data of today. So, it was an expiry day, monthly expiry, and a new fresh week is happening. So, we we'll look at that, but this data may not be very much relevant because the trading will actually happen from tomorrow, Friday, right? For the next September, September 10th, but still, we can look at what is the chart saying. Position 16700 remains there, same as what the chart says. Highest uh, put riding is in a 16600, that's the support. 600 is a good base as of now. Then you have 16500 also good base. So good supports, but the major resistance ahead is 16000. Below, after that, you have 16800, then 850, no, uh, yeah, 900, like this so. all. Um, yeah, so 17200. So this is no. This is what the chart says. Put power ratio is near to bullishness, 0 0.9, but less, not not above one. So it's not bullish. You can't say it's bullish, but yeah, bank nifty is bullish. Is what? No, uh, no, bank nifty is also not bullish enough. So 0 0.88. You can see the highest resistance is 36,000, and then highest is 35,500. Uh, support support is at 35,500 highest, and then. So it is, you know, 36,000, uh, conquering 36,000 is critical and then holding 35,500 uh, and 35,000 both are critical towards the downside. So the, so the action is happening between these 500 points, right? So that's what open interest data is showing. Put call ratio we already seen. It's not bullish enough on both indices. Now what happened to weeks today? Weeks had shot up for the little more, right? You can see that the week moved up. So, if you just look at the intraday action, this is the, the week shot up when the market uh, moved down. So this is again contrary. Yeah. So, 26 today the week shot up. And then, yeah. So here also there is a. There is a confusion. So the week shot up in the market shot up, which is supposed to shoot down when the market is shooting up. And the market fall down, fix shot down. So that means today's move was purely you know, uh, not for real, mainly on the monthly expiry basis. Because when, you know, so when the market is moving up 26, the market moved up, which is supposed to move down. But you can see that when the market moved up, Weeks also shot up and the market moved down. Weeks is supposed to move up, but it fall down. 
so this is some contradiction that you can see in Tradex. But this otherwise Wix, uh, if you see the you know, Wix is stayed more or less flat, so not much of spike you can say, but slight increase is there from yesterday's close. So you can see 34.49, then become 53 small. So Wix is flat more or less today throughout, and it uh, you know it strangely behaved you know, opposite to how it normally behaves, which indicates that today's up move or down move is not you know, not for real probably expiry action is what you understand so FA data uh, uh, you can see that today also thousand around 2000 rows of selling has happened from the four institutions but uh, unlike yesterday you know the, the domestic institutions have started uh, now have compensated half of that so 1055 rows of pot which kept the market from you know for and down but this is a concern that you have so much of selling continuously happening so yield US yield is increasing you can see that so that means the US dollar is strengthening and the people are you know more confident on the government bonds so shooting up so when this is shooting up you know the, 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 there is a chance that the affairs pull out the money and then put it elsewhere from the emerging markets like ours so this is what is probably that is happening right so that is uh, the volatility domestic institution practice. So this is a concern. FIA selling is a concern. No? Continuously selling, not one time. Right. Now let's look at what the sectorial action happened today. If you see the heat map, um, let's uh, see what happened. See, banks did okay. FMC did good, good excellent. Right, this is what action. And the stall did, but right, it didn't do well. Automobile, energy, anyway, pharma. Uh, they are anyway not going good, but so, but FMCG did excellently well, and it was not IDC. IDC didn't do well. It was HUL, Britannia, and Nestle, you no, know, Marico, Dabur, and all these people. All these companies are doing good. So FMCG and Langing did reasonably okay. Is what we get. We will see. Right. So let's look at uh, further analysis on the charts of that, and uh, you can see that that is you know, halted to the moment today. No, in this is where it's bullish. Remember that you have to be cautious with because vertical moment has happened here. Metal is sideways itself, stay away from it. Auto, stay away from it. It is it is so there is some kind of chance of of a reversal. You can see that there is a there is a divergence here. You can see that the momentum is uh, the price is moving down and the momentum is uh the price momentum is moving up so this is the divergence so there is a chance that it can move up you know up tomorrow right if it works out so it's a three bar small bar so it's effective it should work so so so, so auto may do some so you know up move and then it so, so but it's overall bearish stay out of that right uh, but it could climb back to the support zone but uh, you know the momentum indicator is seen now pharma also is showing that there is a reversal you now there is a divergence you can see the you know, price is going down and then so there is a chance that it can uh, pharma can halt the current uh, down move from the support zone and it can move out so auto and pharma can see some reversals from the current levels probably this bottomed out is what temporarily on the short term is what um, indicators are showing fmcg did excellent excellent today Right. big moves happened today how much right so one percent of point three percent of mobile has happened right? we have seen which all things right so you know go bullish on uh, the pharma stocks right but IT shocks cautiously do that so otherwise it's all consolidation sideways or bearish right? reality also has gotten yeah so reality also can see an up move because it has made a range shift of the momentum and it looks like you, it may have taken this as support and then it could further move so there is some uh, reversal indications that can be seen in real estate auto and pharma metal is bearish you know fmcg and it is bullish but it is run up so long so it may retrace there is a negative uh, there is a negative uh, bearish divergence that is there and um, pharma is bullish pick up stocks from that not pharma fmcg is bullish pick up stocks from that so that's what um, it is saying now usd and gold if you see gold 
as it is in last three days but it's consolidating into a major support zone nothing to worry it may consolidate for a long time uh, dollar whenever dollar moves up people may show some you no know, slowness okay so the dollar index had uh, broken out um, did a false breakout from the neckline of the w pattern double bottom and on the you no know, and then it retraced for four five three four days and then now it is strengthened again so using our currency pair it is seems to be consolidating is an expiry time new you know tomorrow is an expiry time and then there is a fed demand you know so probably this consolidation is part of that so it is it is a major support zone and then consolidating the move may be on the channel top side right the dollar strengthens then uh, you know you can see an up move that is right so um, yeah so that is uh, all about that so us market you can see that nasdaq is slight red but it is trending up dow jones is uh, slip from the sand yeah so it's uh, it's well within the channel again uh, but you can see that there is a flatness right so it's flat you can see us market as of now is flat you have to look at next day also so as gx chinese market is down slightly your market is flat as you your market was flat you have to check that tomorrow next day's morning so as of now nothing unusual is seen on any of us market so that's a write up so there is indecisiveness in the market there is a fair selling that is happening there is a market that is at an all time high with no support from the bank you have to be cautious positionally you should know the levels that was mentioned here at the support and the resistances right go for further long or make a long entry only if you get a confirmation that the resistance zones are cleared and exit when the support zones are hit right depending on where you entered intraday is very tough to play the reversals are there every no not only once it happens twice so it gets bought from the bottom or it gets sold from the top so look at the candlestick patterns and try to understand what indication does the candlestick show till then go along put stop loss at the swing lows that is how you have to i have been saying the same thing every day but that's only way you can play whether any instrument you use in today that's how the market is moving nowadays especially on the indices so be cautious and play safe um hope this uh, give you a perspective on how uh, the market did today and how we can plan for a new expiry week that's happening from tomorrow new month also you know, a new month expiry september months so happy trading and uh, happy learning thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe and share with us thank you